I have polka dot and red shoes on, so I wore my red fascinator and had my shoes. When the snow falls outside, you can hold. So we are here at the French Rotisserie Cafe, and it's located in Palm Desert, California, which is about 10 to 15 minutes outside of Palm Springs. So if you're in the Palm Springs area, this place is super cute. It's just like a little uh, teeny restaurant. They do have indoor and covered outdoor dining, and it is obviously a French restaurant. So they have a lot of really interesting foods, a really great looking menu, very excited to show you guys everything we get. I am here with my mom and my sister Emily. So there's gonna be lots of food to try and we're gonna bring you guys along. So I hope you're hungry and let's get going. So this is my friend Sina. Hi. One of the reasons I come to this restaurant. Thank you. Thank we work you. out together. She's in much better shape than I am. But she's probably 40 years younger than me. So. <laughs> Sharon's my favorite. <laughs> she is. <laughs> Very simple, which is uh, which is a good sign. Complicated things aren't usually good for me, but it uh, it tastes pretty tomato. That's tomato. That's what tomatoes are. That's a good start. I'm having the French onion soup. Something you should always eat in a French restaurant, and it's very good. It's not salty. A lot of restaurants, the onion soup is very salty, but this is very good. Osabuco on linguini. Osabuco is veal shank and it's cooked for hours and it comes on the comes on the bone. That's the shank. And I took it off so that I could eat it with my I also forgot to tell them not to put the olives on. Alright, you guys are getting my first taste. That is delicious. Okay. Okay. So I uh, this usually comes on these uh, these potatoes, but I got the potatoes separately because I don't like things on potatoes. Um, but okay. So I, this is meat and carrots and like one other thing or something. But I only Mushrooms. like meat. Mushrooms. That's the other thing. But I'm ignoring all of that and just eating the meat. So it comes in a wine sauce, which I think I'm not much of a fan of, but uh, the meat's really good. And I'm, I think I'm going to enjoy just the meat part. <laughs> so I ended up getting the Chilean sea bass, and it comes in a lemon butter caper sauce, which sounds divine. Called, Mom's telling me it's called Munier. And look at the presentation of this. Gorgeous plating. Just gorgeous plating. So it has green beans and some fingerling potatoes. So let's try this out. The fish is so light, you don't even need a knife to cut through it. Your fork literally just slides right through the fish. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. The butter sauce is very rich, 
but the fish is delicate, it's flaky, and if you've never had Chilean sea bass, it's not super fishy. So it does have a little bit of that like ocean taste to it, but the sauce really makes a difference. with lemon, with Meyer lemon curd. And whipped cream. Oh my God. This is fabulous. Oh, look at this mess. Mmm. <laughs> Crumbly pastry, lemon curd, and whipped cream. So this is a sea salt caramel gelato, and this looks very delicious. Um, so here's the little whipped cream at the top. <laughs> That's chocolate sauce. Yep. Cream. Good stuff. Haven't had the gelato yet, but it's already very good. <laughs> Almost there. Okay, here's the gelato. Do you saw caramel gelato? <laughs> okay, so for dessert, guys, I got the Belgian chocolate mousse. Nice and creamy with some whipped cream on the top. Oh, that is so good. It's not overly sweet, and it has that nice cocoa powder-like taste to it. Mm. That's delicious. Okay guys, so my thoughts on this restaurant. This is such a cute place. I would highly recommend coming down here. If you do come down and try it out, make sure to say hello to Sina. She's wonderful. And the food was delicious. Everything I had was absolutely delicious. Um, that lemon sauce was to die for. Um, literally, I wish I could have like a pot of it and I would just dip veggies in it, dip bread in it, dip some cardboard in it, just, you know, anything and anything, really. But um, on a serious note, guys, the food is great, service is great. Definitely come down here if you're in Palm Springs and come check them out. Uh, you do need to make a reservation. So I will leave all their information linked down below in case you are interested in trying them. And that is going to do it for today's video. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like the video, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I do put out weekly videos. And until the next time, guys, I'll see you then. Bye.